This new LEGO Star Wars set just completely divided the community. Some fans can finally get Rex, and others paid $100 for him. But which side here is on the light side? Those who are upset that LEGO didn't follow through, or those who are happy they finally have a face to Captain Rex? Let's find out. Before we completely understand the issue, we need to figure out why it's a problem in the first place. Which leads us to our favorite part of all LEGO sets, the manuals. Not just any LEGO manual though, says the LEGO man, but this one. Or specifically, the words that read both will be exclusive to the set. One of those both being our favorite Captain Rex. And there is our first side of the story. This captain was supposed to be exclusive, locked behind a $650 paywall and making him very valuable. Just took a figure that could make LEGO a ton of money and threw it away. Or did it? It was not stupid, and they know a lot of their fans are a little bit smaller than the average human. And while many of us want to, most of us can't afford to go spend $650 on a giant box of LEGO. At least not right now. So LEGO split the fans, making one side happy that they have a new figure, and the other side annoyed that their figure is no longer exclusive. There are ways though that LEGO could have technically gotten around this. There are quite a few ways actually to give both fans what they wanted. They could have taken out helmet holes, or they could have made one version with a waist cape and one without, or they could have even left out the pauldron on the cheaper <laughs> set, making you pay more to get this little piece of cloth. Honestly, without it, he doesn't even look that bad. But instead of doing any of these, we got the exact same figure. So what LEGO did is technically wrong, they lied to their customers. But should anyone really be upset about this? Think of all the exclusive, at least for now, figures that LEGO has released just this year. There are so many, you would have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get all of them. This price is out a lot of fans, especially those who want some of these Clone Wars figures, especially Captain Rex, everyone's favorite. Except mine, Cody's definitely better. So what LEGO did benefits the majority of fans, and is actually good from a certain point of view. On one hand, I totally understand that there are some collectors who are upset that this Captain Rex that was supposed to be exclusive now isn't. But the reality is that even though those fans may have bought the Venator specifically for the figures, the Venator came with those figures. This is a bittersweet experience for I think a lot of LEGO fans and LEGO Star Wars fans as a whole. For me personally, it's great to finally have Captain Rex available for everybody. You don't have to spend over $100 or even over $50 to get this figure now, which is fantastic. But the downside of it is I see where people are upset that LEGO went back on their word and ended up releasing this figure to the masses. In a recent poll I did here on the YouTube community tab, I asked you guys what your favorite part of LEGO was, and the majority of people picked minifigures as their favorite part of the LEGO experience, which makes a lot of sense. Everyone loves minifigures, and they're so fun to collect, they're small, but they have a lot of detail, and Captain Rex is one of those figures that everybody wants. So on both sides, even though there's no more exclusive Captain Rex, this is a win for the community and for everybody. It shows that LEGO yeah. is finally listening. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I try to read every single comment, so I want to know what your thoughts are on this situation and which side you're on thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to get us to 10k and we'll see you next time have a good day